Let's make a frame. A paper that's been folded in half already has a nice line. Look at how I made one dot towards the bottom and one towards the top. To make a frame, you have to connect one dot to the other dot without touching anything else. I'm coming close to the edges, but I didn't touch any edges. Now watch. I cut from dot to dot while the paper's still folded. Notice I didn't touch anything else, any other edges. I left space. Um, and now, for the project we're working on, I'm gonna glue the frame to my favorite side of the art. Now I do make a mistake here that I'll show you in a little bit. I'm adding glue all the way around my frame, but look at how I get glue on my art. So I should have maybe been gluing this knot on top of my art. So I rubbed it off right away. And now I am putting that frame nice and neat around the edge of my art. I'm trying to make sure that it covers the edge. And then I noticed something else. I do not like that my pencil line is showing from drawing on my frame. And so I will go back. I don't like that I see those big pencil dots either. So I will go back and try and lightly erase that pencil to be a little bit less obvious. I was like, oh no. So when you do your frame, I suggest that you glue the side with the pencil marks on it, with the dots and the pencil marks, so that you can use the beautiful side to show on your frame. Now, we can use that middle cutout piece to do something really cool. We can glue around the outside edge of it, um, give a big X through the middle, and use it to reinforce the back. It also makes a nice big shape, a place to write your name. Um, but it makes your whole art piece a lot stronger to have this big shape on the back holding everything nice and solid as long as you've glued it the right way around the edge. So I was thinking what other kinds of shapes can I make with frames just so you can get some ideas too. As long as you do the dot on the top and bottom, don't touch any other sides. That's something kind of like a heart shape that I just made. So you can do a heart shape as long as your line and your cutting does not touch the edge. It just goes dot to dot and open. Can I fold the paper a different way? Well, let's figure it out. I fold the paper in half, a dot towards the top, a dot towards the bottom. Make a line that doesn't go anywhere too far, but leaves a nice large hole. And then cut it and let's open it up and see if it worked, if it'll make a good frame. Et voila, it makes a great frame. So you can fold your paper either way, make those two dots, draw your line and cut, and experiment with making a frame for your art today. Good job.